Netflix hikes its prices, robots playing soccer, and social pet working? It's Tech Life, your digital lifestyle in five minutes. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tech Life, your digital lifestyle in five minutes. I'm your host, Ashley Esqueda. Joining me, as always, the amazing Barb Dubois. Hi, Barb. What's going on? I see you have a zombie Smurf shirt on today. As one does. Well, you're getting ready for uh, Comic-Con. It's coming up. Well, of course. I need to celebrate. But before we get into Comic-Con, which is next week, we are going to get into the news this week, and there are some pretty amazing things. So Netflix has been the most popular online rental service out there. It took up almost a quarter of the Internet's bandwidth this last year, which has been craziness. But that actually might change now because they have announced this week their plan to split the DVD rental service and the streaming service, which has made a lot of people angry because it amounts to a price hike in your subscription fees if you get both. The reason why people are so upset is with the DVD service, there are movies and TV shows that you have access to much earlier than you do on streaming. Like for example, Dexter, on instant stream, you can only get seasons one and two, but you can't see seasons three and four and probably not five when it comes out later this year. If Netflix can be really quick about beefing up that streaming catalog, I think that'll go a long way to assuaging people's rage. We here at Tech Life are here to bring you the most practical technology advancement news. And today, it's the world's steepest roller coaster. Very serious. This is very serious and practical news. This is in Japan. This roller coaster has an angle of 121 degrees. Yeah, and which, then for those of you playing at home, 90 ow, degrees. Yeah, Barb's trying to ow, use her arm. Ow. It's not possible. How could this roller coaster get any cooler? It's got a world record, the yeah. 14th for this particular park. Yeah, they're serious about breaking world records with roller coasters. And this roller coaster is built in, literally built in to the side of Mount Fuji, Japan's, of course, iconic, enormous mountain. Ah! Ah! I think we should definitely take a uh, company retreat to uh, review this roller coaster. According to a recent study, one in 10 pets in the UK have their own social networking profile. It's the end of days, people. <laughs> this is a sign of the apocalypse. We know a lot of people love their pets. I am one of them. I have two very hilarious dogs. So do yeah. your dogs have Google Plus invites yet? Uh, no. That... The second my dog, Bailey, starts getting more Twitter followers than me, she will be grounded from the internet life. It's not just the food or the medical supplies. Now they need their own computers, their own smartphones. It's, a, it's just as expensive as having a child now. This modern world, not for me. Mm -mm. So if you're a soccer fan and the World Cup just isn't quite enough for you, there's good news. There's a robotic World Cup that was just played. Like the, like doing the robot? Like, cause I would totally rock that. But this is actually real robots, as in showcasing the robotic talent and advancement of the premier robotics teams around the world. Yeah. They're, they're moving really slowly. The Robot World Cup's goal is to create a soccer team that will compete against humans by 2050. But of course, if you have seen Terminator, you know what happens after that, which is robots will enslave the human race. But at least our future robotic overlords are devilishly cute. Ooh, good point. Spotify, a music subscription service that has been wildly popular in the UK, is finally here in the United States for you to go get and listen to your music on demand. I use Pandora, so like, what is the difference between the two? Pandora doesn't get you on demand listening. You make a channel and then it just randomly populates it, right? You can say, I want to listen to music like Foo Tool or, or Tool. The Strokes, but you can't just say, I want to listen to the Tool Undertow album. Whereas on Spotify, you can do just that you can search for all your favorite music, put it into playlists and organize it really easily. Get those playlists back on your phone now if you subscribe. You were saying there's a lot of social media involved as well. Definitely. So they've gone out and done all those big, hairy, nasty deals with the record labels, which means you have the ability to freely share all of that music that you're listening to. You can have public playlists that you share with your friends. You can send the tracks you're listening to to 
Facebook and Twitter really easily, and they have a few different tiers of service. Now the free version is invite only, so, but if you really want to get into Spotify right now, you can sign up for one of the paid tier plans at $4.99 or $9.99, and you will get in immediately and have access to everything. But we'll have all the links for you in the show notes if you're interested in Spotify. Check it out. Well, that's all the time we have for Tech Life on Tekka TV. Be sure to check out Tekka.com, though, for all of your digital lifestyle needs. And on behalf of everybody here at Tekka, I'm Ashley Esqueda. I'm Barb Dibwad. And that's been Tech Life. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.